Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install OpenCV on your Raspberry Pi and start your first project as video streaming. Here I have set up my Raspberry Pi with touch screen. If you don't know how to set up your Raspberry Pi, you can watch my previous video. The Raspbian operating system has the default installed Python 3. You can check it here whether it's installed in your system or not. Let's check it in the terminal. Type python3 dash dash version. As you see the python 3.7 has been installed in my system. Let's start installing OpenCV by installing all the related dependencies. You can find this command in the description below of this video. Just copy, paste and enter. Okay, now we are going to install OpenCV by using pip3. Okay, it's gonna take some time as I installed it before. I'm gonna skip this. When this command has successfully done, we are gonna check for OpenCV whether it's installed in our system or not. Type python3. From here, just type import cv2. If it has been successfully installed, gonna pass through here without any error. Yeah, as you see, it's been installed successfully. Now let's check for the version. Just type cv2 dot underline underline version underline underline. Yeah, as you see, the version of my OpenCV is 3.2. Now let's close this and install the camera module for real-time video streaming on OpenCV. First of all, we should enable the camera by going to Preferences, Raspberry Pi Configuration, and from Interfaces menu, enable the camera. And press OK. For video streaming project, I'm gonna use this five megapixel camera. I'm gonna plug it into the camera socket, which is located here, in this direction. Now I'm gonna plug it again. Okay, in order to do our first project, which is real-time video streaming in Python, just open Tani Python ID. This is our project. First of all, we're gonna import CV2 and capture it. Check whether the camera is installed or not. We're gonna get the frame by the command cap.read, convert it to the grayscale, resize it in order to show. Here's the pixel size for X and Y. After resizing the frame, we are gonna assign it to the variables and finally we are gonna show the frames which this is for the real frame in RGB format and the second one is in grayscale and when we press Q it will close the project okay let's run this code the left one is for RGB and right one for grayscale Thanks for watching this video guys, please don't forget to like, share and comment below. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.